Lake Tolcano, home to the earliest discoveries of humanoid fossils and the lifeline to the communities that inhabit the lake basin, will dry up if the Gibe 3 Dam and irrigation projects for the state-run Ethiopian sugar plantation along River Omo continue. Samani, kama wakati pa dufunga hiyo hiyo bari kwa huko kwa sababu hiyo laga ndio naongea kwa hii bari. Sasa kama hao Ethiopia nafunga hii bari narudi kidogo na kwashi. Sababu hii ndio bari ndio zinaichi naye ndio chakula yetu. Sababu hii bari kukusha ile matunda iko ndani na kusha kwa chamba sisi iko hapi basi. Na kuna ngombe, kuna ngamea, kuna mbuzi, kuna punda. The Gibe 3 Dam is the Ethiopian government's commitment to meet the growing energy needs in the region, with Kenya having entered into an agreement to purchase the hydroelectric power produced by the dam. The World Bank approved a 58 billion shilling loan to the Ethiopian government, which began construction in 2006 and to date is 60% complete. In 2010, we learned that Ethiopia was planning to do 250,000 to 300,000 hectares of sugarcane and cotton plantations, which we both know that sugarcane, is, sugarcane and cotton are both the most water-thirsty crops in the world. But with the irrigation, we are now learning that the dam would then produce energy but be a storage for the water that the irrigation would use. And that, that means uh, less, if not any, water will be, will be let to flow into Electricana. It is procedure for an environmental social impact assessment to be conducted before a project is commissioned. But in this case, the environmental audit was undertaken in 2008, two years after construction of the dam had begun. In the long run, it's going to have a very severe consequence. I am not aware, uh, therefore, that my, our country, Kenya, is, is, is really doing to protect this. And I don't think really much. Uh, I think the, the, what we hear that you know Kenya is going to ex import electricity from Ethiopia without looking at the other larger consumers is a dangerous precedent and something, something needs to be done urgently. The lake is receding, conflict is increasing within the triangle of the lake, particularly communities who have been living on both sides and Ethiopia is going to be very dangerous for the region. Lake Tulkana is the lifeline to the communities that live around it. Therefore, the continued existence of the lake is paramount to the welfare of the people of Tulkana. But the region has no environmental regulation or transborder laws governing resources. It's been very unfortunate that all through our campaign for four years, every time financial institutions, the Chinese embassy has made it very clear to us that if your government stood up and said something, we would then react. But when your government is endorsing this, you know, it becomes very hard for us to say there's a problem in Kenya. <laughs> If these projects continue, and the Kenya government effectively continues to endorse the dam by building a transmission line and purchasing energy from Gibe 3, then the possibility of Lake Torkana drying up in our lifetime will become a reality. <laughs> Michelle Morgan reporting for Citizen News.